Hello, New York, and thank you very much, Jamie, for a kind introduction. So, New York, uh, let me take you to some other region far apart from here. It's Middle East and South Asia. We will be talking about the increase of the footprints of PSV blockchain, how it is increasing the digital transformation initiatives in the government sector, in the private sector, in the academia, and this is what we will be discussing in the next few minutes. My name is Mohammed Salman Anjum, and I'm the head of BSV Hub in the Middle East and South Asia. My chain of discussion will be that I'll be sharing, first of all, some facts and highlights about the region named as Middle East and South Asia. Then we will move on and I'll explain what are the core objectives, who we are as a BSV hub, and what we are trying to achieve in that hub for you guys in BSV ecosystem. And last but not the least, in a very short span of time, what we have achieved and where we are heading towards from this point onwards in terms of goal and roadmap. So let's start with a brief intro about the region itself, where we are on the map. So the, all the blue area is Middle East and South Asia. And this is actually our objective at BSV Hub. We want this blue area to be BSV blued in coming time. So that's the whole objective. That's the whole point of the BSV Hub, that we want this whole region to be BSV'd in coming times. Now. Some of the highlights of this region, which is again a very important one in the world, it is a home of one third, or rather, yeah, one third of the whole population, two billion people. So imagine the size of the market, imagine the size of the use cases they must be having for blockchain, for digital transformation initiatives, and that's what the region is looking forward for. There is a strong drive of digital transformation in this region. Normally, in other regions, it's a private sector that takes the lead, but in this region, it's like half and half. So you have enough to do with the public sector as you have enough to do with the private sector as well. Very importantly, UA is the hub for this all uh, trigger, uh, creating the ripple effects in other countries as well. It is having a lot of use cases of blockchain in recent times. In fact, it is the first who brought the national blockchain strategy a few years back, and that said that by 2021, which is finishing in three months from now, they would be having 50% of the government transactions on blockchain. And that will give them these all benefits. Just to summarize what it will do for them, this all will bring an ROI of having $6 billion a year, which is equal to Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. So imagine next year onwards, they will be saving enough money to put another Burj Khalifa each year. So that's the ROI they are gaining from blockchain implementation across different government sectors. Now we'll talk about what are the principles, what is the north of our BSV hub there and this very important region. It is basically two principal objectives we, uh, we want to achieve in the next few uh, like time. First and foremost is the visibility, ecosystem connectivity, and of course then it will ripple, uh, create a ripple effect for the adoption of the BSV applications and so on and so forth. When we talk about the connectivity, ecosystem connectivity or the visibility, it will come through partnerships. What type of partnerships we are talking about? We are talking about the initiatives with the governments, regulators. We are talking about the initiatives relevant to the ecosystem projects to have projection in the region. BSV is not just a protocol. It has a lot of layer of blockchain applications now. So we want them to have an access to this huge marketplace. Then research and industry initiatives, uh, industrial institution relationships like blockchain centers, uh, IT uh, hubs, so on and so forth. Accelerator program and incubation centers collaboration. We are talking about university collaborations to build up the competency. BSV is growing. It is requiring resources now on both sides, business and tech side. So for sure, we are trying to come up with the partnerships that will accelerate this competence development. Then it will create the ripple effect. And the visibility and the strength of the uh, PR will bring in these outputs. We have to get developer on board for the adoption. We have to get startups uh, on board. To, who, to what basically use blockchain, BSV blockchain, for their digital transformation initiatives. And who will be those? It, they will be the enterprises, they will be the government entities who will be bringing that. So it's a two principal 
objectives we have, and we will be pursuing, we are pursuing already for the achievement of these two. Now, in this uh, set of uh, section, I will be discussing what we have achieved in this short space of time and where we are heading in the coming time period. Starting with the PR and visibility, why is that necessary? Awareness precedes change. In order to bring change, you have to first create awareness. And the best way to create awareness is events and the PR engagements. And that's where we have uh, uh, able to achieve a lot in the last few months. I'll briefly tell you, summertime in Middle East and South Asia is normally a lull period for uh, the events and the PR engagements. But we managed to do 15 of them till now. And once I'll be back uh, in Dubai in like few days from now, in 15 days' time, we'll be doing six events and bringing visibility, doing exhibition uh, with the government, uh, like a accelerator program, and plus the blockchain event uh, run by the government itself. So a lot has happened, a lot will be happening in this sphere. This is our, like one of the events where we have entered actually into the Middle East market. We started giving the visibility there. We created that buzz about the uh, B uh, BSP itself. So that's what we have done. We have done already four events with them, and we are looking forward to do our first event in Saudi with uh, partnership with this event. Now, moving from PR and visibility, and going forward for some tangible results, these are the two partnerships we have already done with Academia. University of Sharjah on your right is the largest university, one of the largest universities in the Middle East. They are very savvy with their tech progression, and we have partnered with them for the research and development service regarding what? Regarding putting educational certificates on BSV blockchain, validating them, and one thing which has never been achieved till now in the blockchain sphere is that equivalency. That is the pain point of a higher education, ministry plus the universities. They all get involved into this pain point of having an equivalency between the uh, educational credentials of different countries. That's what we will be achieving with them in the next six months with this research project together. On, your, uh, on my left is the University of Karachi. I just mentioned briefly that we will be having a competence development program to upskill people for BSV blockchain uh, development. This is what we are doing with the University of Karachi. Again, a six months long program where we will be bringing up a quality HR, tech HR for the BSV ecosystem. BSV is growing. It needs more resources when it comes to the skillful developers. And that's what we are trying to achieve with this uh, university program. We are also doing institutional partnerships, association partnerships with the different blockchain centers around the region, uh, naming Dubai Blockchain Center and Blockchain Center in Pakistan. Now I'll come to some tangible uh, pro uh, implementations as well, are uh, the things which we are doing with the governments. We started this with the uh, orienting our training the Dubai police uh, executives for about BSV, about the general use cases of blockchain uh, with, in their sphere of uh, the policing and all that. We have done a very strong collaboration uh, with Ministry of Human Resource and Amaritization, which is going to be, uh, which is already rolled out, and we will be doing uh, the cross ministry. 500 to 600 executives will be trained on BSV blockchain for their use cases, identification, and of course, the, uh, to become more savvy about blockchain. This will not end there. The next step will be doing a combined study about the use cases what they can bring for their efficiency in digital transformation through BSV blockchain. Last but not the least, the implementation of some POCs so that they can actually explore how it will help them and move on for the commercial and full life scale deployment. We have also done some work with the Securities and Exchange Commission of Pakistan as a regulator. They're bringing up now the digital asset framework. We have our attorney have already given them industry feedback on a family level, which has been appreciated by them. And we will be probably moving forward with them and giving more assistance to them, more support to them to formulate that digital asset framework. Imagine 220 million people market coming up with the regulatory framework, how big that adoption curve will be. So we are not just sticking with the government departments. Regulators are also in our focus. Another 
policing department. By the way, it's not, it wasn't intentional, but there is a proverb in my culture that if you are in touch with your local sheriff, no one will touch you. We didn't do it intentionally. It happened by chance, but yes, probably every next country we'll go, we'll first chase out the police department there. What we are doing with this Swin Police, which is a provincial police department in Pakistan, is very, very important to share, and I'll be sharing it in this slide. A year back, I was not part of the BSV myself, so I was running my own application, which Jimmy introduced in Voicemate on Hyperledge Fabric, Permission Blockchain. Our region is very much like uh, good with the adoption of blockchain, Middle East and South Asia, but they like permission blockchain because IBM went there earlier and has a strong grip on the market. It is literally a challenge to bring them back to the public blockchain, which is indeed an actual uh, blockchain. So the journey started with our own transition, bringing our own application from uh, permission blockchain to a proper public blockchain, most scalable blockchain, and the best blockchain in the world, which is BSV. That helped us knowing the real points, how we can win people to go for a transition. Because it's not easy to convince people from permission, a lot of like, concerns, a lot of myths about public blockchains. But going through with this transition our own selves, we got to know the points, how we can convince the uh, different departments, especially the public sector as well, and enterprise uh, uh, sector. So when we had this chance to do some training with the synth police, and everything starts with the sort of a training, we ended up telling them the, that you should not go for the hyperledger fabric, rather you should go for this uh, BSV blockchain. And fortunately, they listened to us, and now this is something I, th I can probably say that the best uh, implementation till now, our best tangible outcome of the BSV hub of Middle East and South Asia, that we have a first use case, uh, a live project. It's not a POC. It's a production grade resource management system where the policing department is putting every a bit of their ammunition and critical assets on BSV blockchain. It's already there. It's uh, under the test phase and soon going to be live uh, in coming weeks. So in this short space of time, this is probably our most tangible outcome in the region. And we will use this as a reference to create more buzz, create more implementation in public sector, especially uh, for the BSV blockchain. What is ahead, and especially in the next two uh, quarters? So till quarter first, we will be doing a lot more visibility. As I just mentioned, we'll be having a lot more to do with the events and visibility, because network is your net worth. It has to be a foundation. The outreach requires visibility, and events will get us that visibility uh, in coming time. Because of the COVID situation, we didn't do a lot in this sphere of uh, industry meetups, startup meetups, or the developer meetups. Now things are getting better, and this is also will be a focus area for us moving forward. We will be doing industry workshops and uh, one-day workshops, and plus we'll be doing a lot more in terms of the meetups. Government and enterprise initiatives, we are not just stopping with one ministry in UAE. There will be three more in coming uh, time. And similarly, we will start with them as a knowledge partner and we'll help them identifying the use cases and then take them for the implementation phase as well. And also, we are in discussion with KPMG to partner with them in Pakistan to roll out uh, like industry-wide accounting and uh, auditing industry-wide uh, program for awareness and of about blockchain in uh, that region. Another interesting thing we'll be doing with the legislators in Pakistan, we'll be orienting them about how they can use uh, uh, the blockchain for their record keeping, especially in legislation, it is a very critical part. We will be doing two more at least blockchain implementation uh, just like we did with the Synth Police. Their resource management system is powered now with the blockchain, BSP blockchain, and we'll be doing at least two more in the coming time. We will be putting together some collaboration with the Accelerator Program, which is always required for the startups and developer community. We will be having more country ambassadors. Till now, we just have one. We will be having more country ambassadors to create the ripple effect in the whole region. 
Hub will have its own tech team as well. We are very grateful for the BSV Academy team. We are very grateful for the legal team of BA, BA who are supporting us in our initiatives. But moving forward, we want to generate uh, more buzz and we will have more resources on board. And especially Arabic speaking training team, we require that heavily uh, to put together. Before I end, we are basically a bridge between the BSV and the region. And we would like to say everyone, please reach out to us if you want to have an access to this market, if you want to meet and uh, move forward with your initiatives in the region. Thank you very much. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.